How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Big Day Dave and this is a map tour for a new-ish mod map to Farming Simulator 22 called North March Reloaded. And we're going to start with the description from the mod hub and it reads, Hello, hello from Dith Martian. Little info in advance. The map has two versions. Version 1 has three farms, a loner, no decorative sheep, then you can still add animals. Version 2 has three farms, a wage farmer, and decorative sheep. You can no longer place animals there. Now you have the choice which versions you want to play. The card is for medium sized machines. Demolishing farms will result in a penalty. Now to the map. There are 124 fields, 13 points of sale, 9 productions, sawmill, great forest, 100 collectibles, livestock dealer, animals on the map, chickens, pigs, cows. There are seeds and fertilizer, decorative trees, grass missions, fruit, millet, triticle, spelled, green rye. Now I hope you have fun with my card. If you have any questions, just join me on Discord, and then it gives a link to the Discord below. There are mods required for this map, starting with the Wind Turbine by Razak, Aunt Emma Shop by LSMT Modding Team Stefan, Dutch Shed Pack by Raf Farmer at DMI 20 MM Normandy, Cow Shed 3 plus 3 by DMI 20 MM Normandy, Windmill by The Lort, Fish Farming by VX Mapping, German Fire Station by NRX Ecky, Half Timbered Farm Building by Vertex Design, Farmhouse Pack by DMI 20 MM Normandy, Medium Metal Machine Hall by Vertex Design, Agricultural Fair by Chen Ben, and Lizard Liquid Manure Tank by Mr. Hector. This map was created by L.S. Schlewig Holsten and is 285.73 megabytes to download. If we take a look at the map, this is what it looks like. We start out here outside of the shop area in the kind of southern portion of the map. We start out uh, owning farmlands number 11 and 251. 11 being a wheat field and is growing and 251 which are, is our main starting farm. Field prices vary, but are rather expensive for the size of the fields that you're getting. Starting out here, 71, very small field, almost 43000 almost $44,000. Let's go down here to 94, $50,000. Again, a very small field. Six, 81000 to 100000 and it just starts ramping up from here. 187000 268000 405. I mean, it's relatively expensive for the amount of field and the amount of space that you're getting. So, yeah, it's going to be a little bit difficult kind of going from location to location. Uh, you cannot purchase all areas of the map. As you can see, there's large sections of this map that you cannot purchase. We do not start out with animals. Uh, contracts are available on this map. No production change to start out with, and there are collectibles, 100 of them to be precise. If we take a look at mods specific to this map, looking at the buy menu here, there's nothing under the buy menu, but under the build mode, we start out under the buildings and sheds. We scroll off to the right, we're looking for specifically North March Reloaded mod. These are the ones that are specific to this map you will find here and here alone. Uh, under silos, there are a couple here. You can see North March Reloaded. Silo extensions, there are nothing here. Containers, got a couple of the North March Reloaded. Here under containers, under tools, same thing. North March Reloaded. And nothing under farmhouses. You will see under here there are in other screens as well. Uh, there are other mods, and these are the required mods, not the mods specific to this map. Under productions... And factories, we scroll to the right, you will see that over here we do have a few North March reloaded mods specific to this map, but nothing under cell points, greenhouses, orchards, or generators. We take a look at animals, there is nothing under cows, horses, pigs, sheep, but under chickens, you will see here the chicken pasture where we can put in 2,000 chickens. Yeah, that's a pretty big, uh, pretty big increase. Uh, nothing under bees and nothing under others. I'm sorry, under others there are uh, a couple of dog houses. Under decorations, there's nothing under fences, nothing under lights, but under others, we scroll to the right, you will see several additional trees available here. We take a look under landscaping, there is a whole slew of additional painting swatches available to us. Nothing under trees or plants. 
Now we do start out here at the starting farm, or starting farm, sorry. We do start out here at the shop. So starting right here, we have the repair trigger. And then right over here, the shop trigger. Now, because we are here at the shop and we do have to do quite a bit of driving, I'm going to go ahead and lease out a truck. Even though we have one already at the farm, I'm not going to go ahead and teleport over there because we've got plenty of places to drive to. Now, one thing I do see here is a uh, fuel tank and a, which looks like the fuel tank is active, just not marked, uh, and a pressure washer that does work. So, very nice. Uh, is that fuel tank actually marked or is it the repair trigger that's not marked oh no fuel tank is marked okay so it's the repair trigger oh and i forgot to turn off a couple things like automatically turning off my engine so let's do that and let's just make sure this works yes it does perfect so we will head out of here we'll go south Now heading out to the east, we are going to go to what I'm dubbing as farm number two. Farm number one is the main starting farm, so we're going to go to farm number two first. On the map though, it is listed as Hof 1. I believe that's farm one. So we're going to stop right here. Now to activate this farm here, we have to go to the map. We were here at the main shop area, it came out down to uh, this main road here, all the way down and around to here. You can see Hof 1, Farmland 254. You can purchase this for 297574 Go ahead. Oh, and we need money to do that. So let's go ahead and get the money we need. There we go. Just take the max loan. And there we go. Now, before I proceed, I will say two things. Firstly, the reason I said that this was a new-ish map is this was originally released to PC players, and now we are getting it on console. This appears to be a recent console release, as well as I recorded a bit of information for the update that came out yesterday for this map not realizing that this was a separate map and is slightly distinctly different from the original North March map that we had a while ago. Um, I didn't realize that yesterday, so I accidentally linked it to the original North March map tour that I did, again, not realizing they were distinctly different. So this is a new map. This is you know laid out differently. It's got a lot of the same elements as the original map does, but there there are quite a few that are different um so one thing that i will say which is part number two um each one of these secondary farms the ones that are not your starting farm they're essentially the same exact farm almost identical in every way so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show this one and the next one the third one i will show where it's at on the map but i'm not going to walk through it but I wanted to show the second one just so you could see that it's pretty much exactly the same. It's laid out exactly the same. It's just in a different location on the map. So starting here with the detailed view, we have the wardrobe trigger right here. Out behind here, we've got the sleep trigger. The input for our silo, our output is right here. Out behind here, we have a solid fertilizer tank, another silo, and a pig barn. Now, to load into the pig barn, you can see if I come up to the dialog box, there's nothing here. I can't bring up anything, but I have to open the gate standing off to the side here. And as soon as I open the gate, now the dialog box comes up. You have room for 25 pigs in this particular barn. You have your slurry output here. In here, you have your feed trigger. Right here, we have a bunker silo. You can see chaff in the top left-hand corner. Around this side here 
is a chicken pasture room for 2,000 chickens. Feed here, and we have our egg spawn right there. Around the back side here, we have a liquid manure tank. Coming around over this side. All the way down here. We have a cow barn, room for 200 cows, manure heap here. We've got our milk trigger here. Feed trigger is just over here. Lower this down, you see the feed trigger right there. And I will show the slurry output on the other side when we get to that. Right here we have two, one, two, bale and pallet storage uh, units right there. Let's go around this side. Pressure washer, fuel tank, karma silo, which the karma silo holds, holds seeds and mineral feed. Seeds and or mineral feed. And then if we come around the back side over here, slurry is right back there. So again, each one of the kind of farms that you can purchase on the map are identical in the way that they're laid out and all that stuff. I will show the next one, not in as good of detail, but we'll walk around it really quick so we can see how it is identical in every way. So we are going back towards where we started over by the shop. Now here we'll make a right. Uh, here we want to make a left. Okay. So here is the dairy. Purchase this for $70,000. And tucked around the back side, we have the input there and output there. Backtrack just a little ways. And now we follow this out. all the way out to here and this is where our starting farm is going to be okay we'll stop right here so because we're here at the starting farm let's take a look at the starting equipment so we we'll take a look at our owned items under medium tractors we have a fence 714 vario and a john deere 7810 under Harvesters, we have a Deutz Far Top Liner 4090H. Cars, we have a Lizard Pickup 1986. Trailers, the Kloss Carrot 140TD. Header for the Deutz Far. Plow, we have the Agrimass POV 5XL. Cultivators, the Amazon Senio 4000 Super. Power Harrows, the K Brand HR4040. And the Amazon KG3001 Super. Subsoilers, we have the K Brand DC401. And cedars, we have the uh, Amazon Katea 3000 Super. Under sprayers, we have the Hardy, Navi Hardy Navigator 4000 Delta Force. Fertilizer spreader, we have the Amazon ZATS 3200. Tedders, the K brand GF8712. Wind rowers, the Samaz Z2840H. Forage wagons, the Strout Stroutman Zalon CFS 2501DO. Front loaders, we have the John Deere 643R. Front loader tools, the Elba Bale Spike, and the header trailer for our Deutz Far. Now, starting over here, we have our sleep trigger. Let me adjust my notes down a little ways. There it is. Now, over here, we got another Karma uh, silo there. Repair trigger here. Fuel tank pressure washer, slurry pit, slurry tank, silo, and uh, solid fertilizer right there, silo, and two bale and pallet storage units right there. And that's it. That's pretty much our starting farm. So our starting farm is considerably smaller than the other three farms on the map. So now we need to backtrack a ways. There 
and head to right. Take this up north a little ways. And here we'll make a right. Keep following this around until we get to right here. This is the windmill. You can purchase this for $50,000. Inputs here, outputs there, and this is essentially a grain mill. We'll go ahead and buy it because it's $50,000. And you can see we've got uh, wheat, barley, oats, and sorghum. We've got all these ones here, but we also have corn, sunflower, canola, and soybeans. So we can make a lot of flour with this with a lot of different products very nice now we'll head out and around heading north to our next farm and again i'm going to show this one we're going to very very quickly walk through it but it is identical in orientation and layout as the first one we saw so let's go back to the map so we're here at the second farm what i'm calling the second farm let me go ahead and sell that off so i can get the money came back up and around to the main road where the shop is up to here out to the dairy after the dairy we backtracked a little ways came up and around to the main starting farm back out to the road up to here followed this out and around to the windmill and then now we are here they call it farm number three we're calling this also farm number three Purchase this for 281857 just like so. And now, wardrobe trigger is right there. Sleep trigger, there. Again, we got the silo tucked in here for an input and output. Over here, through this door, another solid uh, fertilizer silo, regular silo, pig barn, Chicken pasture. Liquid manure tank. Down at the end there, got a couple bale and pallet storages. Right there, we got a car barn right here. Exactly the same, manure heap. We've got our pressure washer, fuel tank, karma silo, and that is everything. Again, same exact layout, same exact orientation. Nothing is different between the first, second, and third farms that you can purchase for this map. Now coming down here, this is the lime station. This is a buy point for lime. And around the back side, over here is the Grain AG cell point. Whoops. Oh dear. Now over here, we have a production point. This is the Grain Mill. 96,000 to purchase this. Input here, output there. Now over here, we open this door. Here in front of me is the liquid fertilizer buy point right here and a uh, garden center sell point right there. Now the game and the description mention that there's two versions of this map, one with decorative animals and one without. And we'll be able to see those decorative animals right up here on the northern portion of the map. You can see right here. All these animals that are tucked up here, it spans the entire length of the northern part of the map. And you can see we cannot purchase this outer portion, but these sheep just span this whole upper portion all along here. And I'm regretting that I... I think I was right here at the last uh, shown. So... So you can see all of them are just kind of hanging out here. They are just decoration. Right here we have the supermarket sell point. Go ahead, oops, hop back into the truck. Head down here. And 
Now, tuck down this driveway right there. That is the community cell point. Now, moving on. Following this road. Now, here to my left is our next points of interest. Let's pull in here. In here, we have the country trading point cell point. Right there to my right, and then following back behind here, we have another lime station buy point. Head back out, down the road a little ways. Now right over here, follow this in here. Over here is the biogas plant. You can purchase the biogas for $1.18 million. Very, very expensive. We have our liquid input there, solid input there, and liquid output, aka digestate, right there. Now we continue to head down the road. For a little ways this time, we gotta make our way down. go continuing to head out this way now heading south whoops oops 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 I hit the wall Now, tucked away in here. Now, to my left, that is the Lime Station by point. And now in front of me is the TG cell point. Now, pulling back out of here. going across the street tucked away right back here this is the restaurant Hansen cell point go ahead and start heading back we gotta backtrack quite a ways to get to our next point of interest Basically, I have to go all the way back by the biogas plant. The biogas plant is here to my right. We keep going to the next major intersection, which is just over here. Okay, right here. So make a right. And now to my left is the next point of interest. This is the sawmill. You can purchase the sawmill for $100,000. We have our uh, output for our wood chips here. We have our input for our uh, lumber here with a wood cell trigger here and our output right there. Now we continue down the road a little ways. Now coming up here, not this next 
uh, point of interest. But the one kind of group after this is going to be a very, very populated kind of area. Very difficult to traverse through. Gas station to my left with a gas, gas station um, shop right there to the left again. And that is a cell point. Now, this is the area I was talking about. This is kind of a, I don't want to call it a rat's nest, but it's got a, just a very intricate, kind of windy, twisty kind of road network. Kind of a one way in and many ways out. But not really out. <laughs> You'll see what I mean in just a second. Here we have the spinnery, 60,000 for this. You can put in there and output there. Continuing down the road to this intersection. Off to my left. Go back around here. We have the sugar mill. 60,000 to purchase this. Output here and input on the back side. Over there. Across the way is the bakery right here. Purchase this for 50000 And you have your input and output right here. Next door, you have the tailor shop. 100000 for this. Input here. Wardrobe trigger right there. And output right there. Oops, oops, oops. Now we're going to follow this around. Now follow this up here. This is the sun gaze cell point. Backtrack ever so slightly. Let's see. Here to my left is the carpentry cell point. 60,000 to purchase. Inputs here with a wood cell trigger and output here. Across the street, we have Aunt Emma's shop. So this is the cell point. Let's hop back in the truck and make our way around. Oops, there's a pole there. Right now, find our way back out here. So that's everything that's tucked away in here. Make a left. And now a right. Follow this down a little ways. We have a lime station to my right, buy point for lime, and then around the back side over here, there we have the EQ cell point. Now we backtrack. Make a right. Right here. Pull in. This is the cereal factory. Come around the back side over here. You can purchase this for $110,000. Have output there, input here. And now we're going to see the third farm, or I should say farm number four. This one is going to be up here on my left. I'm going to just pull ever slightly past it 
right here. Now you can see, again, same exact layout. Carl Barn, we got our triggers all in the same exact place. So again, we were here at farm, what they call farm number three, what I refer to as farm number three as well. We came out here. Let's go ahead and sell that. Came out to here, saw the lime station and the egg, uh, grain egg. We then went across the street, saw the grain mill. Then we went up the road a little bit to the liquid fertilizer and garden centers. Uh, we went over and around up to here to the supermarket, down past the community cell point. Uh, we went down to uh, where, 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 where? Nope. I think we were. It, unfortunately, the map is very difficult to read. Uh, the road network is very hard to find. Uh, we went out to here where we saw the uh, country trading point and the lime station buy point. Then came back out down the road where we saw the biogas plant. Came back out, followed the road around down out to here where we saw the uh, lime station and TG cell point. Then came out to the restaurant Hanson back up following this road out to this area here came down past the sawmill went down to here saw the gas station a gas station shop out to here we then saw the spinnery the uh, sugar mill bakery and then the tailor shop we then came back out and around to the sun gaze cell point down around here to the carpentry then to the aunt emma's back up and around to this area out to here we saw the lime station buy point and the eq cell point back out to the cereal factory down to this area here farm number four field farmland 253 271,072 dollars to purchase again everything's in the same exact spot as the other two that we have reviewed that are purchasable on this map so we're not going to go into detail on that one Heading down the road. Pull in here. Follow this around. Right up to here. This is the fish farming production point. Go right over here. Purchase this for $150,000. You have your outputs right here. You have... Uh, wait, what? Uh, No, inputs here, and almost looks like there's, I didn't notice that there were two markers earlier. Hmm. Uh, you know what, let's go ahead and purchase this. Let's see what it looks like. Maybe there's a water as an input or something. Uh, okay, corn and mineral feed. So... Let's see. Possible that one goes in here and the other goes in here, potentially? Yeah. And then an output here? I'm I don't know. I'm just guessing at this point. We will go ahead and head back out this way. And go right next door. To here. This is the animal dealer. So when you have pens or pastures already loaded down the map you can come here use this animal dialogue trigger or the same one at your pens and pastures that you have loaded onto the map to be able to purchase your animals but if you use this directly what's going to happen is you will incur an additional fee on top of the purchase price of the animals that fee is associated to a delivery fee so essentially the animal dealer here is taking the animal from this location and moving it for you to the pen and pasture wherever it is placed on your map now you can avoid paying that additional feed by coming to this location with an animal trailer bring it over into this little area here click on the dialog box and you'll be able to load directly into an animal trailer and you will save that money now they can be pretty expensive for an adult cow it's a hundred dollars per adult cow so that can add up very very quickly depending on how many animals you want to purchase coming around to this side and going all the way into the back here we have the animal dealer cell point tucked away back in the back. Now continuing to follow this around over here. 
to my right, you can see that is the Lime Station buy point. So there are several Lime Station buy points on this map. And over here, also to my right, is the North March Point sell point. And then last point of interest is tucked away just over here. This is the Agricultural Fair. And that's it. That is everything for North March Reloaded. Now, let's go ahead and render my opinion, tell you what I think, 0 to 5 scale as per usual. And I really like this map. I really do. I, I really like this. This, uh, for the most part, is relatively flat, um, but it's got a lot of character to it. It's got a lot of details, which I very, very much like and appreciate. Uh, as best as I can tell, there's small plots of land. If we take a look at the map just real quick as well. So we were here at farm number two. We then continued going, uh, where was I? No, this is farm number three. Um, we continued going around to the fish farming. Then we saw the animal dealer and the animal dealer cell point came back out, saw the lime station by point, the North March cell point, and then the agricultural fair. So that gets us all caught up. But um, you will see these small locations kind of plunked down around the map. And these are purchasable areas. So like 243 or 239, if we purchase that, is kind of off in this area here. Some of them are associated to the... Uh, here, let's go here to the animal there because it's almost directly east. Oh, and I'm not going east. They're basically associated to these, these little uh, windmills that are all around the uh, map here. So we go over to it. I stand right next to it. You can see 239 is this. Now, what I don't know is that because we purchased this land now, does this start generating us income? I don't know that. But one of those that uh, very, very likely. And you'll see there's quite a few of these just kind of plunked around. You got 242 here. Uh, some of them are uh, gener or what I presume to be generators. Like we got one here that's a generator. We've got barns that are just kind of packed away and let you purchase them for additional storage, you know, in and around the map. So like I was saying, I, I do like this map. I like that there's these kind of... Uh, little nooks and crannies that it's got a lot of personality a lot of details just kind of placed around the map um color palettes very lovely it's got a lot going for it in my opinion um got some beautiful water features kind of going around the map just yeah it's just a very very solid map in my opinion now what makes it um not so solid one of the things i don't like about this map at all it actually really kind of bothers me is the map P, uh, pda itself if we look around it's very very difficult to see some of the road networks um let's see where am i i am why am i not seeing my character oh there we are i'm just looking all over the place but i mean if you zoom in you can kind of see the road and the network on the main portion of it but you get tucked into this area here you don't know where you are you get tucked in back over in this area again you don't see where you need to be it can be very very difficult to see where you're going sometimes and it made doing the initial kind of walkthrough extremely difficult so it's going to be hard to kind of navigate. You're going to have to sit there and learn and kind of figure things out as you go. But once you do learn it, it's very much worth the uh, the experience of learning it. Because it it's a beautiful map. It's got a little bit of undulation here and there. But there's so much going on and so much uh, to kind of break up the, the sight lines that you really never get a clear look too far away from you. It's very nice in my opinion. Very um it's very enclosed without feeling claustrophobic that i really like and the fact that they were able to pull that off is very impressive to me but all that being said what would i rank this map zero to five scale like i mentioned before i'd give it a four i'd give it a solid four well above average 
And yeah, very much appreciate this map. I really like it. But I hope you enjoyed this map tour. If you did, please show them by liking, sharing, subscribing, following, commenting, doing all the things. The algorithms enjoy you doing the shows you're engaged with this channel and enjoying the content. And that being said, I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.